بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد. Continuing on in our study of the book of praise and gratitude to Allah by Imam Anawi in his book Riyadh al-Sadihin, Rahmatullah alayhi, Rahmatin wasi'ah. We were talking about the anwa shukr, the types of shukr. So these are some various types of shukr that the ulama have uh, have categorized shukr. Uh, and shukr, ahabatifillah, or gratitude, is on three of three different types. Shukr al-qalb, wa shukr al-lisan, wa shukr al-jawarih. So, <clears throat> shukr is of three types. The first type is the shukr of the qalb. And this is to have grateful, be, to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one's heart. To truly, to envision the favors that Allah has and, and, and to contemplate and to reflect on the favors that Allah Azza wa Jal has bestowed upon you. And to, th to, to be inwardly thankful and grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second type of shukr, habatifillah, is the shukr al-lisan. And this is to be grateful on your tongues. And how, do we, how are we grateful on our tongues? Is by having thana ala al-mun'im wa shukr sa'il al-jawarih. By praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our tongues, mentioning the favors He's bestowed upon you, and illustrating this thankfulness and this gratefulness on our limbs, so by doing various acts of ibadah. And that brings us to the, the third type, which is the shukr of the limbs. And this is in which we are practicing that, gr that gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by striving to do those things that Allah is pleased with and those mustahabat, those things which are not required of us but that are extra, uh, extra ibadah, like nawafil prayer, like praying your sunnah prayers as we usually refer to them. So, for example, praying, of course, never leaving the Fajr Sunan, those two rakatain uh, of Fajr, or the four for Dhuhr, before Dhuhr, before the Dhuhr prayer, there are four rakat, and the two afterwards, or the two after Maghrib, or the two after Isha and Witr. So, that shows gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah increase us in that gratitude in our ibadah and protect us from laziness. Ameen, Rabbil Alameen. And showing shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing extra good deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wasa nudzi al-shakirin. That soon those who are grateful will be rewarded. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ شَكَرَ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ Allah mentions that whoever thanks, then verily he is uh, grateful for his own self. You know, so this is showing uh, gratefulness in Towards, uh, towards your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala but showing it for your own benefit and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَقَلِيلٌ مِنْ عِبَادِيَ شكور. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran and few of them few of, of, of my servants are grateful. So most of us don't illustrate this 
this attribute. It seems so easy. We're, we're talking about this. And I am sure that this is not new to any of us as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَكِنْ وَقَلِيلٌ مِنْ عِبَادِيَ شُكُورٌ However, few from my servants are thankful. Allah says this, letting us know that really few, few from us really practice this. We acknowledge it, but how many of us really show gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How many of us speak a good, speak about goodness, speak about the rewards of Allah, speak about the favors of Allah, and then don't practice showing gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And may Allah forgive us. Those are just some of the benefits regarding shukr. And, and Imam Ibn al-Qayyum has written extensively on this and many of the ulama of the past and the salaf of this ummah. And there are so many athar of the salaf. But we're going to get back into the actual text. And beginning where Imam Anawi said, Bab wujuba shukr. And he said, قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فَاذْكُرْنِي أَذْكُرُكُمْ وَاشْكُرُوا لِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Therefore remember me by praying and glorifying. So that shows us how we can be thankful and how we can show the shukr is by praying and glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we mentioned. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I will remember you and be grateful to me for my countless favors upon you and never be ungrateful to me. So never show in ingratitude to Allah azza wa jal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ لَإِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لِيُزِيدَنَّكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And if you give thanks, I will give you more of my blessings. So by being thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll receive more reward and you'll see, receive more blessings from Him. He'll increase your blessings. So it takes nothing away from you. It only adds to you. It only adds to your account in the hereafter and it adds to your uh, the, the ni'am that Allah bestows upon you, the favors He bestows upon you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the, in the Quran, so this is show, showing how we can be thankful and how we can praise Allah. All the praises... And thanks be to Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kareem Wa akhiru da'wahum in alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kareem And the close of their request will be, Alhamdulillah. All the praise uh, belongs to Allah, the Lord of all things. So this is how we can show gratefulness and thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the next sitting, we'll begin by going into the ahadith that Imam Anawi has selected for this bab or this chapter. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, anything that we said that was correct. Uh, was from Allah Azza wa Jal. And anything that we said that was incorrect was from ourselves and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam and may Allah increase us in gratitude towards him and bless us with ilm al-nafi, rizqan tayyibah wa amal al-muntaqabbilin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.